Good, Good morning, morning Sims and Darcy. Darcy. I'm Eleanor. And I'm Jacob, and here's your morning announcements. All students with overdue library books were sent an email by Ms. Randall last week. Please check your school email account and be sure to return or renew your overdue library books. On October 10th, the world observes World Mental Health Day, an international day dedicated to promoting global mental health education awareness and advocating against social stigmas. Join us during lunch as Student Services hosts a do-it-yourself activity in the cafeteria where students can craft and take home their own awareness ribbon. We invite all students to participate and join us for this meaningful event. It's okay to feel sad. In fact, everyone feels sad from time to time. It's a normal human emotion in response to challenging, disappointing, or distressing experiences. Sadness not only makes you feel miserable, irritable, or and tearful, it can also have a physical symptom such as stomach aches, headaches, and insomnia. While no one likes to be sad, it is an important part of human experience. All of our emotions, including happiness, joy, fear, and anger, drive our thoughts and actions and give our lives meaning. Sadness is especially important because it helps develop emotional resilience, the ability to learn from our mistakes, change behaviors, and bounce back from adversity. When you are sad, we're more likely to analyze the things that are causing us to feel blue, what we may be doing wrong, and how we can change the situation. Everyone experiences life differently. Upbringing, culture, and life experiences all play roles in how we react to situations. But some of us are simply genetically programmed to be more sensitive, such as crying and laughing easily and feeling great empathy for others. While we can't alter our DNA and our aura past, or prevent stressful or upsetting events from happening, we can find ways to better cope with sadness. Unfortunately, many people try to numb negative emotions with alcohol, legal or illegal drugs, including nicotine, or other unhealthy behaviors. However, it's more productive to acknowledge your feelings and give yourself time to deal with problems. The next time you feel sad, try some of these tips. Talk to someone you trust. Help others. Laugh. The difference between sadness and depression. Sadness is very different from depression. Sadness is a temporary feeling about something. Depression is a lasting, intense unhappiness about everything. Unlike sadness, depression is a mental illness that can occur without reason or warning and often worsens without treatment. Life is full of ups and downs, highs and lows. Without sadness, we would not appreciate happy moments, want to change negative behaviors or a situation, or work to improve our lives. However, if your sadness does not pass and you're feeling overwhelmed, speak to your family physician or, accept, or access counseling through student services. Attention all grade nine and MESPY1 students. Ever wonder what your parents do all day or what going to work actually means? On November 6th, you will have the opportunity to participate with students from across Canada and joining your parent, guardian, or even family friend to experience firsthand the realities of a workday. Please see Ms. Shayton in Annex 6 if you have any questions or need a permission form. All forms must be returned by Friday, November 1st. Cadet Boys Division Three basketball tryouts are tomorrow, October 10th, at 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the Darcy McGee Gym. For questions, please see Coach Brown in room 114. There will be the fitness retest for the beep and the 12-minute run for both Sims and Darcy students in the gym at 12 sharp on Tuesday, October 15th and 22nd. Tomorrow, on Friday, there will be an opportunity for all students who express their interest in scorekeeping basketball this year to participate in a brief training session at lunch in room 376. Please arrive by 12. Attention all students, Homework Club is here to help you succeed. Join us every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 3.45 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. in the library. Our dedicated teachers will be there to support all grades and subjects. No need to sign up in advance, just show up on your own or bring a friend. Plus, if you need transportation home, our supervisors will provide bus tickets. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to get extra help with your homework and studies. See you at Homework Club. All grade 10 and 11 students who are interested in refereeing the annual Lord Elmer football tournament on Thursday, November 7th, are asked to pick up a permission form from the gym office. Spots are first come, first serve. 
See Miss Way in the gym office for any more information. Hey there, true believers. The Darcy Media League of Comic Appreciation is taking place every Tuesday during lunch in Mr. Burke's room. Hope to see you there. Excelsior! semifinals of our school-wide Survivor Challenge, just days away from the season finale. The crowd held its breath as the teams neared the finish line. Just when it seemed the tower might tumble, the Darcy teachers and the amazing people of the moon crossed victorious. They have each secured their spots in the final, where the Darcy teachers will take on the Lama Wars and the amazing people of the moon will face the Sims teachers. Make sure to be in the gym at noon on Friday to see who will be crowned our inaugural Survivor Champion. Thank, Thank you, you Sims and Darcy, and, Darcy, and have, have a great, great day. day. <laughs>